Which brings us to our talk of the tape. After gaining more than 10 percent in under four weeks, is this stock market rally getting overcooked? Or can the market continue to feed off soft landing hopes and positive seasonal patterns into December? Let's ask Bryn Talkington, uh, managing partner of Requisite Capital Management and a CNBC contributor. Bryn, uh, it's great to have you here. Um, market seems uh, in a pretty comfortable mode here. I guess the question is, are we getting a little bit overbought? Is something going to come along to, to disturb things right here? We got through earnings season. It seems like GDP is tracking OK uh, in the fourth quarter. And of course, we have the, the holiday week trading, which has an upward bias. Well, Mike, I mean, we sure have had a big Santa Claus rally well before Santa Claus is even coming down the chimney. But I think that the market will continue to grind higher. I think that you have not only animal spirits, but you have the seasonality that's in full effect. I think the mutual fund selling at the end of the quarter was really extreme. And since then, since that November 1st, we've, we've been off to the races. And so I think the technology will continue to lead going into the eight year end, um, but we'll grind higher. I think the majority of the returns for the year have already been had. Yeah, a, a grind is, uh, is certainly, you know, you take it after what happened from August uh, through October, I suppose. Everyone seems to be uh, very eager to want to see the non-technology stocks con uh, contribute. And they did come off their lows. We have seen a little bit of, uh, of a back from the brink action in cyclicals and banks and things like that. Is that important or what is it just a nice to have as part of a rally? Well, I think longer term, you want to see that, right? Because you don't want to have seven stocks holding up the proverbial no other 493. And by the way, there's lots of other names that have done exceptionally well besides the other four, besides the other seven. But I will say, you know, Goldman had a really good report out about looking forward. And if you look at those magnificent seven stocks from 23 to 25, they're expecting sales growth of 11 percent versus 3 percent for the other 493 and margins to come in at 22 versus 10. And so I really think that we've got a really good bounce off the bottom with these, um, especially the small cap names. But I think right now, while we still don't know if we're actually going to get rate cuts next year, which I think it's that I, I disagree with the market. I think it's going to be much later um, in the year than the market has priced in. I think right now, especially the small caps, those should be a trade, not a strategic allocation to go into at this moment. Yeah, it's a good reminder that when it comes to the dominance of the very largest NASDAQ stocks, for one thing, they're mostly just making a round trip from two years ago. Uh, and for another, it's really just an outgrowth of the so-called quality trade, right? The, the predictable earnings, the better balance sheets, the, the clear growth outlooks. And, uh, you know, we'll see how long that can last and how expensive those stocks can get on that basis. But in terms of the Fed, uh, do you think that maybe the market is over anticipating that, at least on paper, because you think the economy and inflation are going to be, you know, stickier and more resilient or just because, you know, the Fed wants to uh, to wait lo as long as possible? I mean, I definitely take my cues from the market and look to be pragmatic, not dogmatic. And so, I mean, the market is telling us the Fed is done. That being said, the Fed being done at five and a quarter Fed funds, higher for longer, is not priced in. To me, what's priced in right now is, with, as you're seeing the animal spirits with a lot of the meme names, is that we're going to get cut sooner than later. And that's what I just don't see that. I don't think the Fed's even had that narrative. If you look at core CPI, that's not telling you that we're going to have rate cuts on the horizon. And so unless some event, some exogenous event occurs and being that would be exogenous, we can't predict it. I think that the market is a little bit ahead of itself in terms of the Fed cutting rates. But higher for longer definitely has an impact, especially for regional banks, commercial real estate, and some of the smaller segments of the market, which to me kind of gives legs to once again going back into tech, which really are somewhat immune to a higher for longer environment.